Glory be to Jesus Christ. Slava Jesus Christu. I'm Bishop David with the Ukrainian Catholic Church. I'm delighted this year to share um, a monthly reflection on uh, the Eucharist. We, we are the people of the Eucharist. And uh, the reflection is towards a renewed love for Holy Communion. So this month, I want to reflect with you on the Eucharist and making it uh, personal. So uh, uh, let us uh, begin. We are people of uh, the Eucharist. I don't know about you, but uh, during that pandemic, uh, one of the hardest things for me as a bishop to endure was that the faithful uh, could not regularly receive Holy Communion. At the same time, this brought me to a renewed realization that while we could pray online and follow online church services, what we truly longed for was to receive Jesus' very own body and blood. We are people of the Eucharist. Praise God that uh, that which we hungered for during the pandemic is now within our reach. We can return to regular reception of Holy Communion uh, each and every Sunday. That which was lost now is found. This year, join me in, in a series of monthly reflections upon the Eucharist in a desire to rediscover and deepen our love for Jesus' body and blood, which perhaps f before the pandemic we simply took for granted. Let us begin with the experience of our very own first solemn Holy Communion. For me, it was Sunday, August 7th, 1971. I remember it like it was yesterday. The Sister Sermons of Mary Immaculate had been leading a two-week summer children's camp at St. John the Baptist Parish, Lavoie, where my family attended. The camp was to culminate in the reception of First Holy Communion by many of the parish's young children, something that we looked forward to together with our parents, godparents, and family members. Father Roman Starodub was our pastor. He served the Innisfree and district parishes, rotating once a month on Sundays among the many parishes in the area assigned to him. On that particular Sunday, Father Roman celebrated the Divine Liturgy or Mass with great solemnity, preached about the Last Supper where Jesus first offered his body and his blood to the disciples. Then the moment arrived. With paparazzi everywhere and cameras flashing, each of the children approached to receive for the very first time Holy Communion. Our hearts were filled with love and joy. For a child, it doesn't get any better. As the Divine Liturgy completed and the crowds exited the church, more pictures and congratulations were offered by the parishioners and guests. To top it off, a great banquet was held in our honor. The Eucharist, making it personal. As we begin our year-long journey, I invite you to recall the memories of your first solemn Holy Communion. Ask family members to help you fill in the blanks. Find your first Holy Communion certificate and photos from the day. But don't keep the memories just for yourself. Share your recalled experiences with your spouse, with your children and grandchildren. Let them know how important this event was for you, the time that Jesus chose to come and be part of your life and your faith journey. We are people of the Eucharist.